My name's Remenda and I'm an English teacher in Bradford, back with another top classroom tip to help address gaps in your students' learning. This week, it's low stakes testing. I've started to think about low stakes testing even more since moving to online learning, as it's a great way of supporting student engagement through success within a lesson. I start with straightforward recall questions and then increase the difficulty gradually, asking students to interpret or synthesize, for example, as we progress. You can do a recall quiz really simply. I use it as an entry task for the students with the questions displayed on the whiteboard as soon as they come into the classroom. Students write their answers into their books or onto mini whiteboards so that I can quickly see what has been retained and what I might need to recap before we progress with the lesson. Where I've had to address a misconception, I make a note and come back to that question later on in the lesson to further consolidate. I plan in further questions and sequence the learning so that it builds on the knowledge from the initial quiz. For example, knowing that Macbeth and Banquo are both present for the witch's prophecy helps students to later consider bigger questions like why would Shakespeare give two characters the same experience simultaneously? It's as simple as that then. Use low stakes testing to check students' learning before asking them to interpret. I'll be back soon with another top tip.